Hi everybody, it's Jessica. Welcome to the Mommy Archives. Today I have my second gift guide for you all. I am doing a small series of gift guides in preparation for Christmas and today I'm doing a minimalist gift guide. And I do not necessarily identify as a minimalist. I've talked about this before on my channel. Um, but there are things that I do in my life that are inspired by minimalism and I do fall somewhere on the minimalist spectrum, if you will. And so I just try to make intentional choices about my consumption and my living and I like to find ways to simplify my everyday life and so uh, I know a lot of people watch my channel for simplicity type things and so I thought it'd be fun to make a minimalist gift guide and I am using the word minimalist kind of loosely here you know you don't have to be buying for somebody who's a strict minimalist but if you're looking to buy items that aren't going to fill somebody's home with just clutter and they're going to be items that'll be used and loved and you're just needing some ideas or inspiration this video is is for you. So let's go ahead and get started. So my first minimalist gift idea is to give an item that is consumable or has some type of shelf life. And so one thing or one category that falls into this is apothecary and bath items and candles and things of that nature. However, when you are taking a minimalistic approach to this kind of gift, I think that provides a unique opportunity to bypass the stores in the mall that are doing like the five for 20 body gels and body lotions or candles or whatever and really think about where you're putting your dollar. And so I really love to support small businesses, to support um, American-made things, and I just think that's a good opportunity to put your dollar in a good place and support the domestic economy. And obviously there are lots of places you can do this, and you can shop local artisan shops or whatever, but I like to shop online because <laughs> it is easier, if I'm being honest. And I was recently introduced to the shop Made Local. It's spelled with a K, it's madelocal.com, and they have have all sorts of handmade artisan items, all different types of categories from like things for kids to things for adults, but they do have apothecary like bath and skincare items as well as beautiful, beautiful candles. And that is actually what's burning back there is a candle from the shop Made Local. And so I just love that they have this curated website with artisan made items and you can support the small businesses that are contributing to the website. You can support the owner who runs the website and it's all like USA made stuff and I love this candle back here guys anytime you've seen a candle burning in my video like the past month or so it has been this candle I'll go ahead and zoom in so you can see it but it is by Tokyo factory this is their fig and vanilla candle and it's natural non-toxic clean burning and it's handcrafted from soy wax it smells like luxury it's not gonna be something that you're gonna find at the mall it's a very unique fragrance that I haven't really experienced before I love the simplistic design of the candle I think it's really beautiful and again made local is filled with different sorts of things like this that are made by artisans and the company is USA owned and I just really love being able to use my dollars especially this time of year to support small businesses and it's free domestic shipping and it also comes in a beautiful free gift wrap which is great if you're <laughs> trying to save time during the holidays you don't have to worry about getting things packaged nicely it already comes with that for free. And so of course I will leave this specific candle link down below as well as a made local website as well as anything else I mentioned today uh, be sure to go and check them out. If you want to do some kind of consumable item or an item with a shelf life, but you aren't interested in going the apothecary route, you can do food items. I personally love dark chocolate, and so I know there are a lot of other chocolate addicts out there, and so you can do like a package with some really nice quality chocolates. You could also do a really nice bottle of wine, or you could even put together like a little food gift basket filled with things that you know the receiver really enjoys. And so the great thing again about food, the same with apothecaries is that they will not live in the person's house infinitely <laughs> like they have a determinable shelf life with candles or with bath items you know they eventually run out and with food obviously they eventually get consumed or eaten and so I think consumable items are great minimalist gifts the next category of things I want to talk about is practical gifts. So practical gifts I know aren't always the most fun, but perhaps a person's toaster needs replacing, <laughs> perhaps they need a new blender, or something along those lines. You may have to ask a few questions or be really observant if you're close to them. But I think especially when you're trying to give to a minimalist, you don't necessarily have to come up with this like fun, creative idea. Just find something that you know will be really useful for them. If you're stumped, one thing that I have been loving the past several months is 
is laundry balls. I did a video back on them a few months ago after I had used them for a while and I really like them. I'll put the video right here or something because I don't have them on me to show you. But they are essentially these balls by Crystal Wash that you throw in your wash and it cleans your laundry and then you don't need to have detergent and it lasts for about a thousand washes and so obviously that's a great idea for somebody who's trying to like cut back on their consumption and it also is very green and earth friendly and so I think that's a great practical gift as well. Another minimalist gift idea is to do tickets to some kind of event or park or perhaps even do a membership to some place. And so if you're doing tickets, perhaps a concert's coming in town, that's the person receiving the gift would really enjoy, or maybe there's a play coming into town, or maybe they've been wanting to go to a theme park and you buy them tickets, or if you want to spend a little bit more money, do something like a membership. Um, every year my parents buy my husband and I zoo memberships for our birthday, and so we can take our family to the zoo year round for Kennedy's birthday when we were getting asked, what do you want, what do you want, what do you want, and we were just really trying to not bring a ton of toys into the house. Um, when Kennedy's great grandmother asked her, we actually told her that we'd really like to buy this museum membership that allows us to take her to all sorts of children's museums all over the country and we like to travel and so something like that was really practical for a family and um, is fun to do with Kennedy and it gives us an activity to do with her year-round as opposed to a toy that she's just going to get tired of and so obviously you can adapt a membership or a ticket to the person you're buying for but I think it's a good opportunity instead of just bringing stuff in to give that person something to do. With minimalist gift giving, I think another good idea is gift cards. And obviously you can buy gift cards for all sorts of things. Just because somebody is a minimalist or is trying to simplify their life doesn't mean there's never things that they want or that come up that they need. And so if they have a favorite store that they like to shop at, maybe get them a gift card to that place. Or perhaps you get a gift card to their favorite restaurant or their favorite place for takeout. Or one idea that I think is creative for minimalists is to do a gift card to the grocery store they like to shop at. Because I don't care who you are, everybody needs groceries. And so that's definitely something that will come in handy no matter who you're giving the gift to. I know sometimes gift cards get a bad rap for not being personal enough or things like that, but if you do not want to give a gift card, simply ask the person what it is they want. I know some people find this so taboo around the holidays because they want an element of surprise and they like the shopping process, but isn't it better to give somebody something that they legitimately want or need than to try to think of something on your own and give it to them and you're not sure if they really want it? <laughs> That's not the best position to be in and obviously as receivers we should always be gracious no matter what, even if you're a minimalist. I think it's so important to receive things with a grateful heart, but if you really want to give something to somebody that you know they'll love, simply ask them. And if that person wants a more expensive item, give them the cash to put toward it. Again, I know cash also gets their bad rap for not being personal enough, but if it allows that person to get something that they really want or need, I think that's really doing a service to them. And lastly, if you have somebody in your life, maybe they're minimalist, maybe they're not, but they're like, absolutely, I don't want anything, but you're in the spirit of giving and you want to do something to honor them. Something that we've done as a family many times in the past is to make a charitable donation in that person's name. We usually do this every single year for Caleb's grandparents because, you know, they tell us every year, please don't bring anything new into the house, we're trying to get rid of stuff. And so we like either donating to their church's food pantry, we've also donated to Heifer International in the past or whatever. We try to find something that we think would be special to them and we make a charitable donation. That way we can still feel like we're in the spirit of giving, we're doing something in their honor but we're not giving a physical item to them or doing a service to somebody else who really, really needs it. So I definitely think that's something to consider. I feel like this is an area that's often overlooked because we really want to give something to this person, but if a person really just says, I really don't want anything or I really don't need anything, I think a charitable donation is a great way to go. Alright guys, those are my gift ideas for minimalists. I hope this was helpful to you. Again, as I said at the beginning of the video, um, this wasn't like a hard and fast gift guide just for minimalists. Maybe you're trying to simplify your life, or maybe somebody you're giving a gift to is trying to simplify their life, or maybe you're just trying to be more conscious about what you're buying this holiday season. Whatever the case, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you did find it helpful. And if you did, I would love if you gave it a thumbs up to let me know so, and comment down below letting me know if you have any more minimalist gift ideas. And I also want to take a moment to thank Made Local for partnering with me on this video. They are an awesome website, guys. I really love them. Please go check them out. I just 
I really cannot say enough this holiday season how important I think it is to support the local economy and to support small businesses and independent artisans. I just love being able to do that kind of stuff. And so once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a very wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.